What's up everyone and welcome to today's video. So I've took a nice long weekend off and I'm back today. I've got a new project to show you guys. It's going to be a Sphere Fork and it's going to be on the Avalanche blockchain. However, before we start talking about that, I want to call the winner of the giveaway that I talked about in my last video, which is going to be $300 and a whitelist for Contextia Finance. Now there were seven of you guys that left comments in the comment section that qualifies to enter into the giveaway. However, uh, the winner of this, what you need to do is you need to go over to Contextia Finance, you need to open up a ticket in their Discord channel and then they're going to make sure that you filled all the entry requirements so you know you've you followed the Twitter, you know you did everything that you're supposed to do uh, for the giveaway and then yeah you should get your, get your prize. So let's go ahead and uh, see you won. So I forgot to do this now, you're upset. And... <laughs> So what I need you to do is I need you to go over to Contextia Finance. I need you to open up a ticket. So I'll explain to him that you're a winner of this competition. And um, then they're going to go ahead and give you your prize. The, as long as you've uh, filled all the entry requirements, they're going to go ahead and give you uh, your prize. So yeah, well done. That's the first giveaway we've done on this uh, YouTube channel. And um, looking forward to doing more with you guys. Yeah, so and that brings me on to the next thing. So recently I held a poll. Just close this tab, it's making too much noise. So yeah, I recently held a poll because you know I think we're about time now, we're starting to get a nice amount of subscribers to the channel that I wanted to create a community with you guys. Um so I held a poll. You know, would you guys prefer it to be on Telegram and Discord? And it's come out so far, I think it's 73% of you guys do prefer Discord over Telegram. So therefore uh, I've gone ahead and I've made a Discord community. So, what I want you guys is if you go on the description of this video now, there will be a link to my new Discord community. So, it'd be cool if all you guys could uh, join up and we could start making a nice little community. Uh, and yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give um, the winner of the giveaway there, I'm going to give you 24 hours to go over and uh, claim your prize if you don't claim it within 24 hours because you know it might just be someone who isn't subscribed to my channel and uh just randomly watch the video then what i am going to do is i'm going to then uh give away the um 300 dollars and a whitelist back over to somebody in my uh, discord community and yeah we're going to do it like that so you've got 24 hours to claim your prize if not it's going to somebody who joins my um my discord community the link for that is in the description of this video and yeah so okay so i think that's um enough about that now let's move on to today's subject which is cami protocol now as i just mentioned these guys are going to be the first sphere fork on the avalanche blockchain now for those of you who uh, watch a lot of my videos you know i've done a lot of videos on these types of protocols the positive rebase ones so uh, i'm not going to go over and describe how these protocols work anymore you know if you are new to my channel and you're new to these protocols you've never maybe never invested in one before what i just recommend is um subscribe to my channel go back on some uh previous videos and there i tend to go a bit more in depth into how these protocols work but uh the other thing we're interested in really is this fixed apy which is at 150,000, which works at about two percent a day and that's going to be paid every 30 minutes 48 times per day and that's pretty much it really so this project is quite early on like i've only just heard about it and the telegram channel is still uh, sorry the discord community is still very early on the it's going very fast like it's now up to 2000 people from you know it's at 1000 yesterday but still relatively new but considering they are relatively new they have got a lot of information available like they've got the the website ready here now which you know obviously we're using They've got a white paper out, they've got a dashboard which is functioning. So you know, you know, sometimes at this stage in a project, uh, as you know, like I don't have much information to give you guys. I'm literally going off like a medium article. So it's nice that a project, you know, so early on at least has a decent amount of, uh, of information I can give you guys. And yeah, so if you go enter into the garden, it's gonna bring up their dashboard, which is this. So, you know, it's quite a kind of a basic, very basic dashboard, which is probably better to be honest, because you know, as we've seen now, like several times, like even more, like projects that have dashboards that don't function on launch or there's some sort of problem, it 
just kills price action and it just dumps the project and it's so frustrating as well because some of these projects were you know were really good they were doing really well they're up two three x or whatever and then you know the dashboard isn't functioning and the people start to sell off it's just uh you know it's frustrating because i mean like to me a dashboard is just it's not really something you know that is really needed or necessary like if you really want to check the balance that you have of a certain token then just go over to one of the um one of the decentralized exchanges for example if it's an avalanche project then just go over onto trader joe you know and just check your balance on there or if you've got um some sort of hot wallet that supports avalanche like uh, safe pal or something like that then you know just add the token into your wallet and you can see your balance on there you know there's no real need for these uh, for these, these dashboards whatever they don't really do anything I mean, most of them have calculators anyway, so if you really want to know how much you're going to earn like in the next uh, week or month or whatever, use these calculators, you can work it out. I mean, apart from that, these dashboards, the to be honest, I just don't see why everybody's so obsessed and you know about them, but it does seem that when projects don't have an active dashboard, you know, the price tends to dump, so... You know, me personally, I don't really care about them, but, you know, it seems to be a huge, big deal to, you know, to certain people. I don't know whether they just like to, you know, kind of sit looking at this dashboard all day and haven't got anything else better to do. But there just seems to be a, you know, a large amount of people that, you know, really bothers them if, if the dashboard isn't working and then price dumps. So, you know, it is something that is, is important for projects that need to have a, a dashboard that is functioning and working. Otherwise, uh, there's a lot of investors that tend to not be happy about that. And uh, yeah, so apart from that, they haven't got too much information on the website really. It breaks the taxes down a little bit here, which you can we can go over and see in the, in the white paper as well. Come on, what does that do? Yeah, so not a massive amount of information. Uh, yeah, but like, like I said, it's very early on, so I'm sure they will start adding some stuff to that. Even the white paper, I had a quick look over it just a few minutes ago, and you know, there's not a huge amount of detail uh, gone into it so far. You know, this is not really a lot to talk about. I mean, they do claim to be the first Sphere Fork and AVAX, but um, to me, going through the projects and the stuff that they've got available to you at the moment, I don't really see how they can... I don't really see how a project can call yourself a fork of Sphere unless you have certain things like, you know, quantum uh, liquidity as a service, which we know uh, we've seen Rebase uh, trying to replicate on the Binance Smart Chain. These guys, as far as... As far as I'm aware, they haven't got a similar service available or they don't talk about it or anything like that. I mean, even in terms of the, you know, the pre-sale and how they're doing it. So we go ahead and we'll pre-sale information. You know, the pre-sale is going to be hosted on Pink Sale, which, you know, isn't isn't really the same way Sphere Finance did theirs. You know, theirs was done on their website and they had a specific way of doing it where... The hard cap was, you know, limited to a certain amount, but every 15 minutes or 30 minutes, you're allowed to kind of add to that. So these guys aren't even following Sphere in that to, in that sense either. These guys are going ahead with a pink sale um, pre-sale. It's going to be a 13,000 AVAX hard cap, which at the moment works out to be about, what, 1 million, something like that. Uh, it's going to be a 40 AVAX uh, max wallet. And, yeah, this is the most interesting part. This is... Um, so it seems to be that anybody who buys into this um, this pink sale pre-sale is going to get it at one dollar. Now launch price is going to be eight dollars. Now I don't know how I feel about that. Usually um, projects that have such a price discrepancy between the pre-sale and launch price, what this does it, you know, it tends to kill buy pressure at launch because people that didn't get in the pre-sale, you know, like why should I buy eight dollars when you know pre-sale has got in and bought at one dollar, and also. Pre-sales that did buy in at one dollar, you know, the guys who put forty AVAX in, I've got like a you know a crazy amount of AVAX now, which is going to be what it's going to be, three hundred and twenty AVAX. So, the the guys who go max wallet here, as soon as it launches, they're going to have three hundred and twenty AVAX um, straight away at launch, which you know m for most people, especially some the way you know a lot of these projects are performing at the moment, really, I mean since sphere finance we probably haven't seen like a project that's gone over 10x right so most of them are doing a few x's and especially recently with the with the tax season in, in the us and a lot of projects have done recently you know we just haven't seen projects 
performing you know really really well so to start at an 8x you know there's going to be probably a lot of people that just want to, want to take profit straight away now it doesn't really go into much detail about you know maybe there's going to be special taxes at launch you're going to put taxes really high which is going to stop people from selling out you know but as far as I'm aware at the moment with this white paper like I said there's not much too much information about it, so I don't know anything about that or I don't know if they're going to have like whale taxes similar to Sphere Finance again they don't talk about that considering they call themselves a, a sphere a fork you would have thought that they would have something like that in place as well where obviously the the bigger your bigger your bag that you hold uh the more you're going to get taxed uh, especially if you go over a certain threshold it's usually like one percent of the current liquidity or uh, something like that on sphere uh, but again these guys don't talk about that so you know they're going to be a, a sphere fork but you know they, they're going to you know the product terms seems to not really follow sphere in a lot of in a lot of senses but um but yeah so that's the information we've got on the pre-sale so far don't have anything else buy and sell for years we talked about that before going to be 13 percent buy and 18 percent sell and that's where the the money is going going into the liquidity uh, the treasury and the sustained liquidity as well so economics yes yeah, so they don't really have too much information apart from that but like i said we are early on <laughs> like i was saying before for a project that's only just got um a couple of thousand members over the last couple of days sometimes these projects at this time they don't have anything no information to give you they only have like one medium article that i can kind of you know give you a little bit of information off but you know at least these guys have got a working website a working dashboard and and a white paper and so yeah so maybe the i mean even the roadmap you can see you know it's not too um you know, there's not much, too much effort and it's not too detailed so far. So maybe that's just because the project is early on. Maybe they are going to come up with their own version of a, a quantum liquidity as a service. Maybe they are going to put some more stuff in place on the pre-sale in terms of taxes going up at large to stop people dumping on, you know, being at 8x. Or maybe they're going to, you know, put some sort of whale tax in as well to make it kind of more like a, a, a sphere fork, basically. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much all the information I've got now. These guys, uh, the whitelisting is open. Uh, you know, you're very early. Lots of chances to get your whitelist, and that's the main aim of this channel and, and bringing out these videos of, about these projects. You know, so early on is this pod, this, this this channel is all about you know finding new guys. You know, private sale and pre-sale spots on projects basically, and then you know as time progresses and we get closer to the pre-sale and the launch, we can then decide for ourselves. Um, you know, because I'm not a financial advisor. If you want some financial advice, go and see your financial advisor, not me. I'm just an investor who's um, who's giving his opinion on things, and uh, yeah. So so yeah, as the project gets closer to the launch of pre-sale date, then we can make um, a decision for ourselves. Uh, whether they think they've got the right stuff in place, have they got audits done, you know, KYCs and doxing and are there any red flags, you know, that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, so if you, I'll put all the information about the project in the description below so you can go join the Discord community and find yourself a way to get a whitelist spot. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.